I'd like to say a massive welcome to Mark Stas, creator of the Wingflow system. Welcome, Mark. Yeah, hi, Luca. Thank you. And uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, to see you and have the interview. Ah, it's, great. it's great to have you here, Mark. And you are a martial arts teacher, actor, director. You also made, created your short award-winning short movie recently, At The Edge. So I'm looking forward to chatting to you about that. But to give our viewers an idea about your background in martial arts, and your journey so far, can you tell us a bit about how it all started and how Wingflow system came to be? Okay, so um, I practice martial arts uh, around 36 years now. And uh, I started as a kid uh, first uh, with Karate Shotokan. So when I was young, I could not join official school. So um, I had to wait till I had a certain age. But before that, I already trained in my room alone uh, with books. And of course, the biggest inspiration was uh, Bruce Lee. There were at, the, at that time in the 80s also um, a few animes like uh, Fist of the North Star, Judo Boy, um, Saint Seiya. So uh, different kinds uh, that came in Europe, especially in France and Belgium. And I was already like, wow, uh, I had the fever of training uh, in martial arts. And then when I could join the official school, I would say uh, in Karate Shotokan, then it started in uh, federations, organization and uh, teaching with a teacher. So this was really um, a big evolution and also a possibility to grow into the martial arts. So uh, I would say that uh, thanks to all my previous teachers, I became the martial artist I am today. Uh, all of them contributed to my development. Um, although I quit organizations, I changed martial arts. Uh, it it uh, made of me the, the person I am uh, in martial arts today. So my background, uh, besides Karate Shotokan, I did uh, a few years Taekwondo. Uh, after a Taekwondo, I, I quit uh, the martial arts um, um, instruction uh, because I was studying uh, physiotherapy and I moved to another city. And there I discovered uh, the Junfan, uh, Junfan uh, Jeet Kune Do of Bruce Lee. I didn't practice so much time, so few months. And uh, at that time I discovered uh, the Wing Chun of Leung Ting in Germany. So from Belgium, I moved to Germany. I um, was uh, introduced by this uh, great system by uh, Sifu Sali Afci. It's a, a German, a Turkish German who was considered at that time as one of the top two in the world. A big mm -hmm. fighter, a great man, and as a martial artist, really an example. And uh, I remember he was uh, as tall as me, so not so tall. And at that time, I was uh, trained. I uh, trained a lot of karate, taekwondo, and on the long distance, I had a very good um, uh, vision of distance and uh, speed and, and technique. And when I saw him, I thought he's not impressive. But when he started to, to train his Wing Chun and showing me, explaining me, I, I thought, wow, that's a real beast. In martial arts, he's like, Wow, not big, but he uh, mastered the Wing Chun system as, uh, for me, it was the first time I saw really one person in the Wing Chun world that was like exploding everything and being small, he was not, he's not tall. And from that day, I said, okay, this is the art that I want to learn. So I quit Belgium. I lived uh, many years in Germany to train in the best schools uh, in Europe. And um, I, I practice now uh, Wing Chun. It was in the mid nineties that I left Belgium. I went there and from Wing Chun, I came into the, another organization where there was a Wing Thai and from Wing Thai, I uh, split and I uh, came into my Wing Flow system. So the journey, um, although I practiced many years, so 36 years of uh, martial arts training, intensive training, uh, the main art I practiced is the Wing Chun. So this is really the, the, the basic of all my uh, development. Although I practiced uh, during my youth karate, taekwondo, but the, the main focus in my uh, martial arts life is uh, Wing Chun. So everything I do now, uh, even Wing Flow system has a, a big uh, influence in Wing Chun, of course. So that's why Wing Flow system, 
although the movements are more dynamic and uh, there are a lot of aspects different from the, 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 the classical, if we could say, Wing Chun, it has a, um, a basic, basic level of influence of Wing Chun. So everything is related to this uh, great system. Uh, theory, there is, of course, in Wing Chun system, we have a lot of sensitivity reflexes like uh, the Chi Sao kind. Uh, we have also the economy of motion, which is a real in important aspect in the system. Um, what else? So uh, uh, the, the, the Wing Chun that I learned and Wing Flow system uh, is really a part of it. You know, so the, the corner, the, the, the core of uh, Wing Flow system, I would say it's the, the, yeah, the, the part of uh, the theory, the principles, certain principles, certain techniques are uh, woven into the, the Wing Flow system. And so originally when you first saw your uh, teacher in Wing Chun and you saw the way he was moving, what did you specifically find was different compared to the other martial arts that attracted to, uh, you to it compared to the other martial arts that you'd done before? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was born in Korea and in Korea, the, the martial art, it's uh, Taekwondo. That's the, the main martial art. So I practiced several years Taekwondo and I always loved kicking. Karate, I really loved also, but what attracted me before I went to Germany, I read an article about this Wing Chun style. So in, in Wing Chun, you have several styles. So you have, for example, the Wing Chun style of Victor Kahn. You have the Wing Chun style of William Cheung. You have the, the Wing Chun style of Lun Ting, etc. So, and the particular style in Europe, the most developed, uh, especially in Germany, it's the style of Lun Ting. And uh, I read an article about this Lun Ting Wing Chun style. And what attracted me, it's already the, the fact that it's uh, soft and hard. So there are components which are really aggressive, direct, and then there are aspects which are more soft, like um, in the sensitivity, you have pressure, you have uh, stability, but when the, the power is too big, you, you can uh, borrow the, the power a little bit like in Aikido. So this aspect of uh, it's hard, so there is really aggression. There is chain punches, which are more aggressive and, and uh, direct and efficient. But you have also all the soft parts where the, the power is borrowed. So this aspect between yin and yang always attracted me. So this is one part that was in the system. And when I read the article also between in the harmony, and the, the short distance power. So um, important in the, the Wing Chun style because it's more um, based on the close range combat. They have also the one inch punch. So at that time I read about the inch punch, Bruce Lee did the inch punch. So when uh, I read that it's part of the system, the short distance power, and I thought, wow, they have sensibility. So uh, the Chi Sao uh, in the Chinese name, they have so the perfect combination in theory between yin and yang. They have on short distance, the, the short range power. And also uh, it was, uh, the legend says that it was invented by um, a nun, uh, um, yeah, um, a female person. So the technique is more adapted to persons uh, who are not so strong as the, the male persons, and uh, but they have a lot of intelligence within the system. So this attract attracted me the most. And also because there are solutions when you are smaller, you have solutions and I'm not so tall. So I thought, oh, okay. Although I was good in, in, in martial arts before I did competitions with success and uh, but this aspect, I said, okay, I'm in my 20s, early 20s, so I, I have to, to find a muscle art, art where I can grow. And mm -hmm. not two years, but 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years or more. And in this theory, I found a way to, to be able to practice, to have an efficient muscle art, because I didn't know what it was, Wing Chun. I just read the article. And then I said, okay, on long term, this yin and yang, this soft and hard, is something that attract, attracts me a lot because uh, I always wanted something that on long term I can still practice. And I don't want to practice hard 
and in 20 years to lose this and then say, I'm too old, I cannot practice anymore. And that's why th this aspect, when I saw the, the Wing Chun style by Sali Afchi, then I said, wow, he was performing with a big guy. I remember with a, a beard and he was practicing. I was like this and the guy was like this and they, they performed something and I was looking and he explained to me um, different concepts. And I said, wow, really impressive, really impressive. When you never did Wing Chun and you see how it is performed by a master, then it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. So for me, it was like my eyes went like, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what I said, okay, this, it's, it will not be easy because it's an art and it takes many, many years. But then I said, okay, I will go. I leave everything behind. I stop martial arts training what I did before and I will start from zero. And okay. then, uh, till now, I, uh, I'm happy to be able to, to train this uh, fantastic art or a, a part of this art. You know? So it's more than 20, yeah, 25 years since I started wow. this journey. So um, it's uh, the biggest part of my life uh, where I invested a lot of time. I trained every day. And uh, I still now I train every day, but uh, the, the training was very intensive, you know, so I was lucky to have a very good instructor who was my Si Hing Sing is so called older brother, uh, Frank Krüger, and um, he was the one who, who taught me all the basics in Wing Chun, uh, really a, a amazing guy. He, I think at that time he weighed 100 kilograms, but he had the speed phenomenal. I was already quick. But he was like quicker than me because also in his uh, chisau, in his close range, he was really um, like a spring, you know? So the spring does and he had this 100 kilograms, but he was amazing. So I was really happy to have him as my first real instructor because Sali Afci lived near the border of Belgium, Germany. And he introduced me into the Wing Chun he asked me to stay, I could sleep there. Uh, there was a restaurant uh, of its family, etc. But I had to work because I quit my job. I went to Germany, but then I said, yeah, but I need money because learning Wing Chun, it's, it's, uh, it's not for free. So I had to work and then I moved a little bit further where I could um, work also as a physiotherapist and okay. train at the same time. So that's, that's why I left to another city and there I met my first instructor in Wing Chun. And uh, I would say when I started there, then the journey into this Southern Chinese martial art started till today. So uh, they, they, a lot of people ask me, ah, but Wing Close System, what is the origin? The origin, the, the, the thing is, it, it hasn't been created to create something. It, it, it was really a, a kind of, a, a follow-up of circumstances, of um, situations in my life where I didn't have another solution than to quit organizations and to say, what will I do? I train only for me and I continue. But because I had already a few persons, instructors who wanted to follow me, then I said, okay, then I will continue to, to do what I want because Wing Flow System has uh, techniques, theory, and principles that fits me. Mm. So it's a personal creation. But in the beginning, I didn't want to promote it to the world. It was not my intention, but because people wanted to follow me, I had to create programs. I had to create a name. I had to create a logo. And this is not so easy. Many people ask me, ah, you have your own system. I want to create my own system. How can I start? But then I say, I cannot answer that because I never wanted to create something. It's something, it, it grew like this. And when you are in a, a kind of a personal expression, you have ideas. I say, okay, I like from the Wing Chun, what I did before, this technique, this, this, this principle, this program, etc and the drills, but this I don't like, this I don't like. It's a little bit like this, you know? So when you practice uh, many, many years and you have to go your own, own way, then it's logic that you only do what you like. And this is what happened with the wing flow system. So people ask me, ah, you have this, it, it's maybe existing in Wing Chun, but this what you do doesn't exist. 
they do this invention, but you don't do this. And this is logic because of course, when I do something, I will not put in my personal expression techniques or principles that I don't like or doesn't be, uh, don't fit me. You know, if they don't fit me, I don't do it because it's contrary to my body mechanism, contrary to my belief, etc. You know, so uh, everyone when you train many many years a martial art you have preferences, you have techniques that fit you, you have theories, etc. And this is what happens. So when people ask me, I would like to create my own system, can you help me to develop? Then I always think to myself, this is not possible, it's difficult, you know, already for yourself to create something and to have programs to structure something, it's a hell of a work, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of work. And then helping someone else to create his own thing, I cannot do that, you know. So that's why. So wing flow system, it's uh, evolutive. It's uh, traditional, but non-traditional. Uh, it has a lot of components: uh, punching, kicking, kneeing, elbowing. It has uh, also, of course, the aspect of yin and yang. So soft and hard, aggressive, borrowing. And uh, there is a part of the street defense or self-defense that I developed within the wing flow system. And contrary to, to the training in martial arts, it's a very easy part. So that means on the street, you don't have time to learn all the sensitivity. You don't have time to learn all the kicking. So I came to a conclusion that I need to reduce it into three, four, five techniques. The most easiest, the most logic and also it has to be in line with the law you know in europe in belgium for example if you start to fight with someone else and you punch him punch him he's in hospital police is coming and then you have problems that's why i thought okay when i have to teach a concept of self-defense i don't want to start with punching in the face so that's why the, the method i use so a lot of people they see my video they say ah, you use a lot open hand Yes, mm. you use elbow bows on certain parts of the body uh, because there is um, a strategy behind. And I, I must say, when I introduced it um, uh, with seminars, uh, the special police, I, the special force of France in Lyon, they were attracted by this system, what I did. And uh, mm. I was blessed to have one of my instructors who is also in the special force. And there was one of the main instructors of the RET. In France, there is uh, the special force, but you have the RET, who is one of the biggest uh, part of uh, the, the special force. And he, I met him several times, and he's really amazed about the simplicity, the efficiency of wing flow system in street defense. So, uh, and in uh, Switzerland also, there is one of the, um, the team leaders of the spe uh, special police, who is also one of my instructors now. And he was attracted by the way uh, of performing and expression of wing flow system. So in, in, in the, the defense part, although it's only a small part of wing flow system, it's innovative, I would say, and has a very good potential to develop. And in martial arts, of course, I maintain the fact that you can develop till long, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. uh, long time because it has the aspect of art and uh, soft and hard, you know. So uh, although it is efficient, also in in combat, it sounds really uh, very relevant for a modern world that we're living in now, where you can, like you're saying, use it and use it safely within the laws. And you know it has more reach in that way that you can teach the police or you, people that would be interested in it. So it's, it sounds like a, you've thought a lot about it and the strategies behind it and made it super relevant for for now, which is really it cool is. to um, hear and see. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, a lot of people ask me. Eh, they say, for example, uh, you have continents like uh, Brazil. Uh, I visited a lot Brazil. You know. And um, I've also my uh, future wife, I would say, who is Brazilian. And uh, there the law is completely different. So what we can do in Europe, in Brazil, they laugh with it. They say, huh, hey, we attack someone, it's with a gun, it's with a knife, it's with two, three, police will not interfere, you know? So the, the aggression and uh, everything that's violence in society depends which country. And I 
imagine that I saw it, I, I experienced it. And then I say always, uh, listen, I am, I raised up in Europe. So that means that I know the law and the environment of Europe, Belgium, France, etc. Of course, when I speak, uh, when we speak about wing flow system, there is a part three defense, which is linked to the law because in Europe, you cannot start to do kill someone because he only shouts at you, you understand? So the degree of defense has to be in, in line with the degree of attack. This is not so good because sometimes uh, accidents happen, you know, because uh, you think you are, will be soft and then uh, suddenly you are KO on the floor, etc. But on the other hand, in wing flow system, we train also the muscle art. That means that there is no rules. Uh, muscle art, 300 years ago or 200 years ago or 50 years ago, rules were different. So uh, it, it was not a matter of putting gloves and combat. It was a matter of style against style and uh, one person will win and the other one has to close his doors or the school. So it was like, if you are a cripple, if you are dead, if you stop because you, are, you cannot fight anymore, these were the rules. Today, you don't have this anymore. Of course, there are ghettos. They, they try to, to, to do the street fighting thing, but this is different. But uh, a martial art like Wing Chun or um, uh, other uh, ancient art were created in order to defend themselves life and death matters, you know, and not competition like today, or they say, oh, you have to join UFC, but uh, the, the purpose of martial arts, it's not always sports. And people, they don't understand that even street defense has nothing to do with sports. Uh, when I say uh, on the street, the purpose is when there is an aggression, you want to stop this, avoid it and uh, go home safely. This is priority one and not Aggression, I will start to fight and we will see I will win. It's completely different. In competition, in sports, you have two persons, they fight and one has to win or there is a draw. But there are rules, there is a, um, a judge and there are a certain um, uh, rules which make that it's quite safe. It's rare that you kill someone on, in the ring, you know? And uh, martial art, it's not the one, it's not the other, it's something else. So it's a, a development of body and mind techniques. And of course, each martial art like karate, kung fu, uh, even Muay Thai, Muay Boran, they have their characteristics within the system. And it's not like this is better than this because look, even Within judo, when you see the, the old judo cast like um, Masaiko um, Kimura, Kimura, who was the one of the top levels in judo, uh, he got also a fight with Helio Gracie, who developed the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So at that time, it was not judo, that's for women. That's not, uh, today, they, they laugh about judo, that's not good because they cannot do but Older judo was not like this, it, it was different. So, and all depends which person executes it. That's why it's uh, the, the problem with social media is that they, they, they judge very quickly. Oh, this video, this guy is not good. Karate is not good. This is not good. Wing Chun is not good. But the, the problem is, you know, uh, I train very intensively martial arts and, and not two years, you know? And uh, th this is what I see, what I observe in the world. It's uh, martial arts has its place in the society and can be of benefit, not only human body, but also focus in life to do something and to be determined to become good in what you can do and develop. And we need not only a good technique, we need also a purpose in life. And that's why I always say, depending which martial art you choose, uh, luckily, you can choose between many, many, many martial arts, so everyone can find something. This is a good thing, you know, so no, no matter if this is better than this one, uh, you have your preference, I have my preference, and this is good. Each has a choice. It's a little bit like a car. If you like Mercedes, but I say, oh, I like more uh, BMW, or I like more Honda, uh, you, you know, so it, it's, it, you, you cannot argue about tastes. And this is what happened, happens now too much. Ah, karate is not good. Wing Chun, 
they are not good in competition. So uh, this is a little bit sad, but on the other hand, um, it's a joy to practice martial art, to be guided and to see that after all these years, you still train and you are happy to train. This is to me one of the most important things and to evolve also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think as well, like you're saying, it all depends on the context of what it's within, especially something like Wing Chun that is really a self-defense martial art. And um, yeah, but something about wing flow system that's already in its name that is quite clear for when people can see you move and when you're expressing is the flow of it. And um, I was wondering if you could chat a bit more about that. Is that part of the philosophy of the art as well? The flow side of it? Or how does that all connect in? Yeah, uh, of course, it's, it's not a hazard that I choose. Uh, wing flow system. So uh, the flow, uh, uh, when I had to, to see what, how will I name it, then I said, okay, it needs to be something that characterizes first me, uh, logic, because uh, I'm uh, the person who uh, created, so-called created the system. So I said, okay, I don't want to have a, a, a name that's only like a brutal thing. This is not what I want. Not now. When I was younger, yes, then it was like brutality uh, and direct, uh, but uh, we change, you know, as a person, as a practitioner, you change. And then I said, okay, well, what is important is in my expression, what a lot of people, they ask me, they see me, they, they told me, they say, uh, you have this, this kind of, you don't punch in one line, you, you attack with different parts of the body, you have a very good coordination, and when you perform movements, it's like it's linking. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like this. And then I said, yeah, because this is also my expression. So it's like I learned over time to do not one thing, but one, two, three, four, five. five, five. Okay, mm -hmm. and then it's start link with legs, kicks, elbows, knees, uh, and this kind of, of uh, coordination, it's a little bit like the flow needs to come into it. This is one aspect. And um, not everything is like this, because, for example, in the system, you have also, for example, the, the very quick one attack, one attack, economical. So uh, it's not everything is not flow. But the general idea is when uh, you are in movement and you start to counter or to attack and to defend. So even defense counterattack, there needs to be a flow. There needs to be a certain link between when you attack. So it, uh, flow is not only doing movements like this. It's also flow means also that uh, you have a very uh, a kind of uh, um, a focus, focus where you have a movement and you can switch to a, another kind defense counterattack etc so uh, uh, definitely flow it's it's the the, the way of uh, actions that are linked in a certain way it's a, a visually one of the the main wow thing uh, this is yes mm -hmm. but behind this hides a lot of other things also also it's definitely clear to see when you are when you are moving there's a lot of intention behind what you're doing so I think like you're saying, it's not just it's not just like you're moving for the sake of moving yeah. and just going from one thing. No, it's clear that when you're moving, that it's all linked and it's all uh, there's all intention behind each of the movements. Yeah. So it's, it's clear to see in your movement for sure, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so also look, looking at your recent short movie that you've uh, created, which is really, really inspirational. Great movie, Mark, really, really inspirational. And I will put a link in the description to it as well so people can go and check that out. But can you tell us a bit about how you came to this stage of now wanting to express in these other avenues uh, your journey? Yeah. Um, at the edge uh, has been created, so I wrote a story. So this story I wrote, it's a, a big part, it's a, a personal. Yeah? So it's a personal experience I had. And um, in life, you don't need to be a martial artist. I, be, I happen to be a martial artist, but what I encountered, even when I practiced a lot, and at that time, uh, my videos became very famous in 2016. So they made a boom in the world and people discovered me. But although this, 
I'm still human and I faced also difficulties in life. You know, life is, is not always a very uh, great joy. This is not life. Life has a, a little bit like yin and yang, you know, so there is ups and down. And at a certain moment, I faced also a lot of difficulties in life. So uh, there was stress, there is um, um, a lot of uh, certain situations which make you like very heavy in life. And when situations uh, are prolonged, not one day, but one month, one year, two years, three years, it starts to, 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 to have an effect on your body and mind. And this is what I faced, you know, so or I trained a lot every day. But then I had all these problems, so it's like several problems. I would not say all the problems, you know. So several problems that came on me, and due to all these psychologically and stress situation, and I still trained very hard. I, I got also problems with my body when I trained. So I, I must say, uh, it was a difficult moment of of uh, uh, injuries. Uh, stress, etc. And at a certain moment, I said, okay, but now I will stop this part in my life and I have to, 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 to do something to help myself. And uh, I moved three months in Thailand because I was invited already before. And um, uh, at that time, I wrote a story because I was in contact with the producer, Lorenzo, Vanne, and uh, he is uh, a producer who uh, came from Canada back in Belgium. Okay. And I met him through a very good friend of mine, Tomo, and uh, we decided to create something. And then I said to him, look, I have an idea because he was interested in my martial arts. So I trained and he saw, wow, what you do, that's amazing. And then uh, I told him that I will go to Thailand and I will be there three months at least. So, and I was writing already ideas about my life and he was interested to film this. So uh, I was very lucky that uh, I could write the, the script and he, as a director, he translated it into the movie world. So together we made this at the edge. Mm -hmm. And although it's my first production, I would say from in the movies, uh, I didn't have a clue how to film it. So, and he came with the idea, look Mark, I will take your story, I will uh, rewrite it into the movie world, and we will look together what can be done. So the initial script was a little bit different because there are things that uh, I imagined how I would see it, but we were short on time. So we, we had only, I think, um, uh, he was 10 days in Thailand. And in, the, in these 10 days, we had to rehearse, we had to finish the, the whole story and then uh, film it. So we, we didn't have a lot of time. And so, but the, the, the result, it's better than I expected because um, even now there are people, they write me when they have difficult moments, they say, Mark, it's amazing because I watched your At The Edge. It's very profound. It is very motivational. And it gives me strength. So, uh, and I'm really happy, you know, because although this movie has been already filmed uh, three, four years, four years ago already, uh, it's still uh, motivational. So, a lot of people they write me amazing short movie, and uh, it helps people. So, I'm really happy that some parts of the the movie. Uh, can give a message and, and strength to people. And I'm really uh, grateful that I could make this with uh, um, a fantastic director, Lorenzo. And uh, for me, it's, it's I would not say it's a masterpiece because it's my first uh, story that I wrote and uh, the experience uh, is missing. But uh, although today when I watch some parts, uh, it's, it's like, I, I still feel it very deep in my heart, you know, because I wrote it, I, I, uh, I faced these difficulties and I, when I see it on screen, when I hear certain words that I wrote, still today, I, I have like, uh, I feel like oof, uh, very profound and uh, it, it's a good thing, but of course we, we move on, you know, so uh, although it's a, a small part in my life that was in the past, when I look back and I see uh, parts of the short movie, I feel a lot of joy because it has been filmed very well. 
and it, it stays like um, a, a movie, a short movie, which is, is still there. It, it will be there always. And that people still write me and they say, amazing short movie and we discovered something unique and you do martial arts also martial artists they wrote me they say your story it's amazing because i face the same things i i feel the same difficulties and as a martial artist martial arts gave me the strength to continue or, or to find uh, an issue a, a, a door where i could hide within myself in the world that's not always easy and uh I can only say people who want to have a kind of motivation or a kind of um, a motivational video, they definitely can watch this uh, short movie because it's a be beautiful story, I think. And uh, there are some words, phrases, which are really beautiful, which also today touch me deep. So that's why uh, I, I'm happy that you speak about this at the edge because I was not uh, prepared that you would say, ah, I saw at the edge. I said, oh, people, they ask me, ah, I saw English dogs because um, the, the, the movie that I played in uh, action, it's English dogs in Bangkok and all, also uh, four years ago. So it dates also, it's not new. And, uh, but when you say, ah, I saw at the edge, I said, ah, oh, at the edge, uh, I'm like surprised, but I'm happy because uh, it's a beautiful uh, project. I'm really uh, proud that I could work with Ro Ro Lorenzo, that it came to this result and that it still touches people. It's, it's uh, to me, it's, uh, I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, I think when you, you know that it's still connecting with people and I've watched it multiple times, it's just such an enjoyable, you know, watch and like you're saying, the the way the story is told through it, your voiceover is really good as well. You know, everything's good in it. The cinematography, uh, the words are powerful all the way throughout. So it really is a, I think for any martial artist, but not just martial artists, like you're saying, because anyone can connect to it because the underlying story behind it is something that we all uh, are on this journey in life through anyway. But it really is a really great piece, Mark really oh thank you thank you mm. so what can people expect from you in the future what are you working on now it's obviously been quite a turbulent time over this all over the world over this last year what's kind of been going on with wing flow system and uh where you and your martial arts now uh, of course, I still train, so uh, I have to train a lot because I love it. It's not that I have to, but uh, I, I find a, a real joy in training. And this is something, uh, no matter what period, uh, of course, with the pandemic, uh, the, the COVID period, it's uh, difficult for all the world, a lot of practitioners, a lot of people. And uh, But in terms of training, this doesn't affect me because I'm always used to train at my place. I never go to a gym. I have my equipment and I'm uh, used to train alone. So this is uh, to me a habit. Uh, and this is also a, a big advantage that I'm not dependent of situations. So this is something it, it, uh, it stays. It um, uh, makes my personal development still growing and uh, I work on, on the wing flow system in general, exercises and improvements, etc. Uh, of course, uh, because seminars are cancelled, uh, this is a block uh, which is already one year. And uh, But uh, with the new wing flow system association we have uh, in Switzerland, uh, I have the advantage to, to be linked to that association. And when, uh, once everything starts again, then uh, with this association, I can go out to the world again. So this is uh, something that I'm waiting impatiently. In meantime, I'm, uh, of course, a lot uh, on social media, especially on uh, Instagram. And uh, the visibility is still there. So uh, this is something that uh, it maintains the, the, the activity of inflow system uh, um, active on uh, social media, personal training still waiting when uh, the everything is coming open to uh, teach again uh, in seminars uh, in, in terms of info system um, marketing i would say it's uh, more in the movies because uh, i'm actually still filming uh, a new action movie which is uh, borrowed time three and uh, just to mention one of the, the, the co-producer it's the, the director of blood sport and uh, kickboxer so wow. 
a, a huge yeah a huge guy it's uh, american um, david Ward, uh, american uh, fantastic director i had occasion to speak with him a very great guy and uh, so i'm really happy to play in this movie as uh, inspector david chan so i have uh, uh, the role of an inspector and um, in this movie you will see personalized uh, movements so i can perform for the first time in an official action movie, The Wooden Dummy. So wow. they asked me to do Wooden Dummy. I said, okay. So I improvised movements and uh, the result will be visible. So this is, uh, I'm uh, impatient to see the result, but this is actually still ongoing. I have to film the last part next month and then the, the part of Europe is finished. And uh, this is for me, uh, wow, uh, a great, uh, great thing. So um, the, the creator of this movie is uh, Alan Delaby, who is also a award-winning uh, actor, muscle artist also, a specialist with the Nunchaku. I think he was a world champion with the Nunchaku. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the, the, the main project. I'm, I've also a big, big, big action movie uh, planned for the near future. But uh, I cannot tell the details, but uh, this will be, I think, uh, the, yeah, my biggest project uh, in martial arts, in uh, the movies. And it's always linked to my Wingflow system. So uh, I'm uh, really grateful that uh, the big actor, Hans Moerenberg, discovered me. And uh, I'm always linked with him in the movies. He's also the guy who played with Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen. He played with all the, the big uh, action movie stars. And he is in love with the Winflow system. So uh, that's the advantage I had. When I play in movies, I can uh, perform my own movements of Winflow system in the movie. So um, this is actually ongoing. So I uh, need to prepare now for the next movie uh, physically. So I have to train a lot to be uh, physically on top and uh, the movements needs to be very sharp and uh, explosive. So uh, this is my main focus until the seminars are uh, again uh, active. Uh, training will be movies, seminars, wing flow systems. So always linked together. So uh, no stop, no stop. Well, that's super exciting though, Mark. That's super exciting. And I think all the different avenues that even though it's all connected to wing flow system, all the different avenues allow a lot bigger reach and more people to kind of see it and uh, kind of look into it more and see that sort of your expression of it and connect with it more. So that sounds like super, super exciting. If people want to, you've got your Instagram, if people want to kind of uh, keep an eye on your journey and connect with you, is there any other, what are the best ways for them to do that? Is it your Instagram or yeah. you plan in? Uh, yeah, there is a website which is uh, wingflowsystem.com, but uh, of course, um, uh, my Instagram, which is markstas underscore uh, WFS, but I'm also new uh, since one year on uh, Facebook again. Mm -hmm. So I have a personal account, but it's uh, I, I use it less. I, I, I try to use it more, but because I'm more used since a few years on Instagram, I continue out of habit, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, they can contact me there. They can contact me on um, uh, Facebook Messenger or on my website is uh, uh, a formula, formula with uh, email. So they can, they can reach me because on uh, internet you will find my email and uh, social media. So people who want to contact me for sure, they can find a way to, to uh, contact me, of course. So there's no, uh, I'm not hidden. I, I'm not uh, hidden somewhere, you know, so on mm -hmm. social media, you will always find a way to uh, to get in contact with me. Perfect. I'll put links to everything in the descriptions, all your different uh, social media platforms as well. So people can go and check that out. And yeah, Mark, I think that, you know, it's really inspirational, everything you're doing, hearing about your journey, wing close system at the edge, which is a really great piece. And also, as you continue the journey, seeing it carry on evolving and where where you carry on to continue expanding out and taking with it. Um, I look forward to continue watching that. Oh, many thanks, many thanks. Real pleasure having you as a guest, Mark. So thank you again. And yeah, just thank you. Thank you. Look at many thanks for the interview. It was a really pleasure to speak with you. And uh, yeah, I look forward to have contact with you again. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Mark. Thanks. Okay, thank you.